गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर तुषार पाटिल प्रैक्टिसिंग एज अ मेडिकल ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट एट सहयाद्री हॉस्पिटल पुणे दिस वीडियो इज टू ब्रिंग अबाउट अवेयरनेस अबाउट कैंसर वी ऑल नो दैट कैंसर इंसिडेंस इज इंक्रीजिंग डे बाई डे द नंबर ऑफ कैंसर केसेज दैट वी सी टूडे इन इंडिया आर क्लोज टू फिफ्टीन लैक एंड अबाउट In the coming years, this number is going to swell to 20 and 25 lakh per year, which will be a huge burden to share. It is estimated that by the middle of this century, every one in ten Indian, one in ten Indian, is going to suffer from one or the other cancer. That is a huge risk to share, and we'll soon have hospitals which are dedicated only for cancer in the coming years in every district or at multiple levels. So there is a huge burden to share with you, and also lies. the responsibility to take care of these six what all can be done the first and foremost important part is understand the symptoms of cancer the symptoms of cancer can be attributed by a mnemonic called as caution c a u t i o n c is for change in what or mood any anemia any difficulty in swallowing any lumps any bleeding from any or face beat motion bleeding or urinary bleeding especially without pain if there is a cough associated with uh, blood if there is a weight loss associated with all these symptoms immediately contact the doctor or the oncologist that is the message to be given to you and to the public at large very important this may not always be cancer but there is a possibility of cancer developing and we need to investigate further for all these uh, symptoms so once the patient comes toward with these symptoms and we investigate and we find out that there is a cancer definitely there are steps which can be taken modern day surgery modern day chemotherapy modern day targeted and immunotherapy modern day radiation have made the patient's life much better today's most of the treatments are advanced they are very very precise and they help in attaining cure in many of the patients the cure rate in 2000 till 2000 was 10% in cancer today we are achieving cure rate of almost 30 to 40% in majority cancers also whenever the cure is not possible we are still able to make the cancer like a chronic disease just like diabetes or blood pressure where the patient can take the treatment continue to lead a near normal life and longevity and quality of life are quite well preserved but this is about treatment what about prevention so most important is prevention and that can happen only with screening screening is recommended for females for cervical cancer and breast cancer cervical cancer pap smear starting at the age of 21 breast cancer mammography starting at the age of 40 these are two important parts of screening for females for me for males there are only two screening tests which are recommended one is digital rectal examination and a serum prostate specific antigen psa testing starting at the age of 45 to be done yearly and the second is starting at the age of 50 do a baseline colonoscopy and then repeat it every 5 to 10 years a stool occult blood testing every years needs to be done for screening for development of cancers in the gi tract so screening involves forms an important part of prevention of cancer of course along with that comes lifestyle modification leaving all your addictions behind social messages passing on it on to others be it in the society be it at your workplace be it in your family very important all these contribute to cancer in one or the other form even passive smoking increases the risk of development of uh, lung cancers by 3 to 4 times than a non smoker so this is what message that we want to convey that there are advanced treatments available patients should should come to us with the onset of symptoms immediately the sooner they come the higher the chance of cure even in advanced stages we have multiple treatment options available to palliate them best and give them a good quality of life but at the heart remains prevention the primary and the secondary prevention which can decrease this burden of one is one in 10 patients suffering from cancer in the in india in the next coming years to a huge extent this will help and go a long way in preventing cancer burden the morbidity and the mortality associated with it thank you if you have any queries please contact us on the below mentioned numbers we'll be happy to answer your questions thank you once again